Lads, listen up. What is it now, new boy? Am I always going to be new boy? No. Just till a new new boy joins us. And what'll my nick be then? Dark Apostle, Harbinger of Anguish. Wonder how many more will turn up.
wonder how many more will turn up. Samel, finally. I thought I was done for. What's wrong? I'm fine, but my friend remains in that damned hospital. I'm Rupert Brandhuber. I'm a medic from Edda, and I came here with a friend to look for a very rare species of herbs. These woods aren't the best place for herb baking. So we were warned, but the temptation was too great. We got as far as the site of the fire. No sign of herbs, but there was something downstairs. Something. What's that? Can you hear it? That's Grindley's dog. Feel that? Something approaches. Help us!
those here were innocents, and I... towards me. Lee! Lee! Leave me be! Away with you! Control yourself. It's not my fault. It wasn't me, not me. What's not your fault? Fire. Fire everywhere. It wasn't meant to happen. I didn't want that, I swear. Won't get much out of you until I calm you down. Maybe the fire didn't consume everything. Maybe I can find some medicine. A sedative. asked me to find you. Rupert lives. Listen, you and your friend. I don't get it yet, but you aren't telling the truth. That's painfully apparent. This place seems to have a very dark past, one you had a hand in. Do you understand me? Y yes. Great. So now you can tell me the story and don't skip a thing. S story There's always a story, Gridley. Spit it out. Oh. We're former soldiers, fought for Eden during one of the wars with Nilfgaard, times long past. I was Rupert's adjutant in the field hospital that our unit set up in this manor house. We didn't at all mind who lived here. In fact, the inmates were friendly. At the outset, that is. One day our scouts captured a Nilfgaardian. He was desperate to win his freedom, and claimed he was part of a detachment that had concealed the booty looted in Eden. We couldn't believe our fortune, thought the gods had smiled upon us. We'd heard incredible tales of this treasure, questioned any black one we'd captured. It seemed all our efforts would finally be rewarded. We decided to make him talk. By torturing him? Our commander wanted to break him on the wheel, but Rupert said he knew a better way. There's a local herb if you brew and drink it, you can only tell the truth. The commander interrogated the prisoner, drawing a map in the process. And we celebrated. Talked of how we would divide the treasure. And took ever greater liberties with the patients. 
The priest looking after them began to protest, and one of our boys split his head open. Nice, Quickly. Keep talking and I just might let you go alive and intact. What happened next? Once the prisoner revealed where the treasure was hidden, the commander had him quartered in front of the lunatics. They'd shown signs of madness before. When they smelled blood, well, we could not control them. Many we simply had to cut down. I don't even know how the fire broke out. Any of the patients survive? A young woman we managed to pull from the burning building. She was nice, quiet and willing. Two nights later she slit our commander's throat and that was all we saw of her, and of the map of course. The war was ongoing and shifting fronts forced us to abandon our search for her soon after. And here you are, back after many years. Really think you can still find her around here? Life's not treated me well since then, and Rupert's had it even worse. This is our chance to reverse our fortunes. Fate smiled upon us once. Perhaps by some strange chance it still holds us in favor. <sighs> I wouldn't count on that. I think we're dealing with one heavy curse here. And it looks like we need to start by finding that Nilfgaardian's corpse. No way! What do you want, Spectre? Their deaths? Two of twenty return when none remain. Yet one shall judge them. If he is merciful, he will feed them to the dead. If he is cruel, he will grant them what they came for. A prophecy. I should have expected as much. Bring me their hearts, so I may feast on their cowardice. Bring me their eyes, so I may spit in them before they are forever extinguished. Is that your offer? Fine. I'll lift this curse one way or another. And? I met the Nilfgaardian's ghost. Let's find your comrade. Gridley, you live. What happened down there? I found the ghost of the Emperor's soldier. You're the Witcher. Get rid of it. The ghost wants revenge. It brought you here to the scene of the crime. It'll lift the curse in return for you. By the gods, you'll not help him, will you? The ghost wants your hearts and your eyes. Gods, you must trick him. Surely you know a way. I could pull the hearts out of some neckers. Thing is, I'm wondering if it's worth it. Witcher, I beg you. Do what you must. Go see the butcher for some pig's eyes and hearts. Anything. You'll not send us to a cruel death. Pig hearts? I suppose there'd be some poetic justice in that. You return. With hearts and eyes. And now you'll swear an oath. Once I give you what I've brought, you'll release your hold on this place. Not so fast, Richard. I want a pact. I want you to swear on this curse. Then keep your word, or your lust for revenge will go unsatisfied forever. I'll trust you. Let shadows withdraw into darkness. Let madness be soothed. Let what has died be buried. Let this place that was cursed be so no more. Now, give me what you've brought. Fool, who knows not that the dead cannot be deceived. You sought to rob me of my revenge, dog. You shall share the fate of those thieves.
I destroyed the Nilfgaardian soldier's ghost. Thank you, Witcher. The ruins are safe. Now get out of my sight. But... Leave before I change my mind. Here comes the Witcher. Think he'll agree? No, I... I don't know. Should we just walk up and ask him like that? Take a good look at him. He'd be ideal. Ha! Greetings. A word, if you will. You see, we've created an alchemical substance and we wish to test it in Vizima, in a laboratory. Seeing as you're a witcher, we wondered if you'd be willing to test it in practice. In a year or two, given the occasion, you could visit us in Vizima. We'd examine you and reward you generous. We need to study its long-term effects. We can't say more. Are you in? Why not? Splendid! Excellent! Now, if you could also keep a journal of the experiment... Don't overdo it. I'm a witcher! Hi-ya! What do you want? Heard you have a problem. Ah... If only we had just one. Highways washed out, forests full of bandits, a river beast blocks the port, and tolls are to rise. Can't help with the tolls, but the monster's a possibility. The sorceress said the same, but we've yet to see any results. She's asked me to work with her. And who's to pay your wage? That's what I'm here to discuss. The sorceress was to manage alone. You can split that reward if you wish. A contract like that requires preparations. Costly preparations. You want an advance? I've but a handful of orans now, though it should buy you plenty of drink and a few hours of plowing. I was thinking of the potions we'll need. Now tell me what you know about the beast. You're the Witcher, damn it! I've no knowledge of these things. Who could tell me more? That plowing elf, Cedric, most probably. He's supposed to know all about monsters. Now leave me be. Welcome. Well, like a... People! The mutant's pursuing me! So how's it going, dear? Everything all right at the house? You look pale. Eat something. I've brought some necker remains as proof of... I know what they prove, Witcher. The reward is yours. On your desk? Is that a drop box for the Royal Post? Yes, I am the local royal postmaster. One of my many responsibilities. What do you do? I'm the royal castellan. I look after Flotsam's provisions, fortifications, and so forth. So if I exterminate a monster, I need to see you about the reward? Indeed. You could start by filling in Form H12 and taking it to... I don't need to. I've got immunity. Ah. Well, you'll find the notice board out in front of the inn. And good hunting to you. I solved your worm problem. I believe you, but the Commandant... Are remains proof enough? Quite. Here's your coin. Any idea why Lerido put a price on the troll's head? Commandant Lerido has Flotsam's welfare in mind. Mm-hmm. But the troll tends to the bridge, keeps it in repair. Not likely. To start with, that's a dangerous beast. In addition, he pays no taxes on the tolls he collects. Thank you, Master. Drives me mad. This cursed wood is full of scum. 
And that horse has lost his mind. Who might that be? The troll! For years he's been collecting tolls at the bridge, for which he's to keep the bridge tidy and drive away the scum. What's the problem then? Merchants from the port sent me to find out the what and why, seeing as this is the only path out to the port inland. But I found the bridge in ruins, and that cheeky cocksucker asked for liquor to let me pass. Across that pile of rubble, I says, and he smacks me so hard I see stars. Laredo's put a price on his head. If Laredo had his way, he'd cut us off from the world, that son of a bitch. We need a bridge, but a working one. And we need a troll, but a sober one. If you're looking to make some coin, hold off on killing the troll and see the village chief instead. He'll tell you all you need to know. Any work for a witcher? Enough work for three. But what of it? We're poor folk. I'm sure we can work something out. Ye best go to Flotsam Town Square near the inn. There are notices on the board there. Just leave the troll be, please, no matter what the townsfolk say. I heard you don't want to get rid of the troll. Who'll maintain the bridge when he's gone? Hire some people. Know the cost of a craftsman these days? That idiot troll looks after the bridge for petty tolls, more or less. The bridge is in ruins and the troll's robbing people. Aye, it's because he's hit the bottle. If you could help him stop boozing... I'm a witcher, not a nanny. I'll pay you well. How much? A hundred orens. Two hundred. You're costly, but what the hell? Let him see I place the village's welfare above all else. No. No what? No passage. Give vodka you passage. Do I look like an innkeeper to you? No vodka. No passage. For Tamarian!
Oops. Any progress? I've got everything I need. Let's go. Excellent. Ready? Are you wearing makeup? We all have our rituals. From what I know, Kairans are colorblind. Enough, Geralt. Time to draw the beast out of the water. Got an ace up your sleeve? I always do. Don't get eaten, and we'll soon both be heroes. I hope you're right. You descend into the lair. I'll stay on the bridge and pull it out onto the bank. Take care. It'll be extremely dangerous, even on land. We did it. 
Not a bad fight, wouldn't you say, Geralt? Are you all right? I'm fine. I've used up much of my energy, so if you needed help... I've learned to help myself. Hmm, a sorceress worried about me. Should I be scared? Playing it tough, like every Witcher. I had no idea it'd be so big. Triss was right, it's mutated. Magically induced. I must get to work, collect the most valuable ingredients. What a shame so much will go to waste. Forgive me, time is of the essence. Farewell then. Don't forget to collect the reward. Oh, I won't. Job done. The Kieran's dead. Good work. You've earned your reward. Well, well. How's the Commandant as a host? It's people like him who might help us. Or put us in shackles and throw us into the river. He told me they're keeping Skoyatel prisoners on a barge in the port. Did he mention if Kieran at Besnalen, Yorvet's right-hand elf, is among them? No. He may know something about the Kingslayer. Let's pay him a visit. Is the work Not yet. Get to work, you sloths! What do you want? To speak with the wounded prisoner. No one's allowed. I'm here on Commandant Lorido's orders. I already cut a deal with you, but... So get out of my way. He won't tell you much. He's dying. Shut your traps. Stop bloody moaning down there. Look, Coffer's dozed off. Wakey, wakey, Coffer. You'll fall asleep forever any day now. They beat him bad. He's got at least a dozen fractures. I'll need your help. What do I do? The spell I'm going to use is painful. It could kill him if he thrashes around. I'll use the Axie sign to calm him. Perfect. <laughs> Look, Birdie's all wet. Hey, Birdie! You get wet just looking at me! Get ready, Birdie! We'll be there to see you right after our watch. It's no use. You wish, Horson. I'm no traitor. He's raving. That gun? Where am I? In Flotsam. On the prison barge. The convict's barge? I'm done for. How did Lorido's goons catch Yorvith's right-hand elf? I was betrayed. How else? There's a witcher in Yorvith's unit. Like every Dwan, he turned out to be a bastard. What happened? He betrayed us. He said he had an offer for me. So we met, where Roses of Remembrance grow. I should have known. Roses of Remembrance? Yes. Some of the last in the world. He thought that I'd betray my elven brother in order to control the unit. I refused. And there was a fight. I've never seen anything like it. No human can move that fast. It was a massacre. I was the first to be hit. Thus I survived. I would have bled to death had Laredo's men not found me. Letho will kill Yorveth, and all will be lost. So many dead, so much suffering. All for naught. Why does the Dwan want Yorveth dead? He used us. From the start. Our hatred. But he no longer needs Yorveth. Sees him as a thorn in his side. Though I don't know what Letho wants. Letho? He's the Kingslayer? Yes. What does Yorveth want? Why Flotsam? Go plow yourself. Only I can warn Yorveth. Tell me. He... We're fighting for much more, Witcher. Flotsam is only the beginning. We're no bandits, we fight for freedom. 
In due time, Yorvith will answer the call, and we'll emerge from the woods, joining the battle. What battle? He wasn't specific. In that case, I'll ask Yorvith himself. <laughs> I'd like to see that. We got what we came for. What now? Yorvith. What if Yorvith already knows? I've got an old saying all ready for him. My enemy's enemy is my friend. Warn him, Gwynplaine. Yorvith fights, for that is what he does best. He's Enshe, a real one, a free one. Among the last, fighting makes sense. Now more than ever before, there is still hope. What are you talking about, Kieran? Hope for what? For change. For a better tomorrow. I'll not see it. They'll torment me to death on this barge, and I'll go gladly where the apple trees bloom. But you must warn Yorveth. Yennefer told me that Ciri has departed for good. She inhabits another world and is happy there. Before she left this one, she gave us the Isle of Avaloch, our island. We stopped counting time. People believe that the wraiths of the Wild Hunt are immortal. They race across the heavens, gripping in their bony hands swords, their lightning bolts. They take away mortals, never expanding their cavalcade of spectral riders. They burned the orchard and the house. In their armored boots, they trampled our island. Geralt, are you all right? I've been to the Isle of Avalach, among the apple trees and the mists. After the massacre in Rivia, Suri took me there, and Yennefer. The Wraith Riders kidnapped Yen, and I pursued them. But... Triss, this is important. I feel like everything's coming together. When the Witchers found me barely alive a half year ago near Kaer Morin, I was fleeing the Wraiths of the Hunt. They continued to pursue me, in the outskirts. Then in Vizima, when I killed the Grand Master. Now I know it was no coincidence. Kieran mentioned roses of remembrance, growing somewhere near here. Cedric claims likewise. If that's true... Right now I should be searching the forest for Yorvith, not looking for flowers. I could restore your memory. You sure? Everything seems to indicate that. Whatever's blocking your memory is clearly weakening. I think I could break that barrier with just one petal from a rose of remembrance. Those flowers are truly powerful. In that case, Yorvith can wait. Want me to go with you? I'd love your company. All right then. Let's go. Cedric mentioned there are some old elven buildings near the Cascade in the forest. We should start there. Lead the way. Shut your traps! Stop bloody moaning down there! Look, Coffer's dozed off. Wakey, wakey, Coffer! You'll fall... Ow. Oh, I think we've arrived. The Cascade, the Menhir. We need to take the path leading upwards. Gardens in the middle of forests? Those elves really like to complicate things. Stop whining. It's not far now. Cedric told me a beautiful legend about this place. Legends are almost always beautiful, especially elven ones. The reality often leaves a lot to be desired. Well, Cedric also said the site itself is something wonderful. The rose must be here somewhere. I'll look around. Alden and Cymoral. Cedric said Cymoral eclipsed even Francesca Findebear with her beauty. And Francesca's reputed to be the world's most beautiful woman. Cedric drinks too much. He really has visions, you know. He really has the gift. He could learn to control it if he drank less. Cedric drinks to get rid of the visions. And that's something I understand perfectly well. Oh my, lovers. Look at it. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. 
I just don't understand it. How did the elves become so cruel? The one with the scar had so much hatred in him. Places like this make you realize just how much they've lost. There used to be entire elven cities, and the forests were theirs to enjoy, not to hide in. Humans destroyed that, put them in reservations. Jorvith and his kind are taking revenge, though not all elves are like that. Kieran said there's a lot more at stake. He has his ideal, a certain vision of the world. But do you think there's room for humans in it? We're practically one and the same. Wrong, Triss. We've been learning from each other for generations, but we're different at base. I don't know why I find that awfully sad. Just like this garden. Beautiful and sad. I'm glad you're here. Slimeril's Rose of Remembrance. Legend has it they wilt unless nourished with blood, and also if they're sold. But give it to someone you love, and it'll live forever. This one's for you. Oh, Geralt. I want you to keep it. If there's any truth to the legend, it shouldn't wilt. Even if you pluck a petal or two. Thank you. This is the statue, Curly. Don't mind us. Imagine the corn we'll get. I won't leave the brothel for a month. Six weeks even. Where does that woman get the gold for all this? I mean, her and the old man, they're buying a new house. And now these statues for the garden. Must be defrauding the treasury. What's a town chancellor do anyway? We'd be plowing hard to move. We'd never shift it in one piece. I know. We'll break off the legs, the heads, remove it in bits. Break off your own head, clown. Shut your trap, cunt. And... Kill them! Watch out! what the end shape built before human ships ever appeared in the Pontar Delta. Elves possess a sensitivity humans can't ever hope to acquire. We're trapped. Looks like we're stuck. Well, there must be another way out of here. Mm -hmm. Why are you looking at me that way? Do I have something on my face? Uh -uh. What's going on in that head of yours, Witcher? Nothing. Sorry. We need to find another way out. Are you all right, Geralt? 
Yeah, I'm fine. We should look for that exit. Any Scoyatel scouts in the area heard the sounds of the fighting. They won't miss that hole we dropped through either. And here I thought I was the cautious one. Did you say something? No. Nothing. Wait, Geralt. Hmm? I need time to devise the spell. It could take as much as a few days. Mm-hmm. What do you plan to do while you wait? I'm going to meet Yorvith. Well, don't get yourself killed. That'd be pretty stupid now. What are you getting at? You're about to recover your memory, which will give you a whole new perspective on things. We'll learn what happened to Yennefer. Uh-huh. And you expect me to drop everything and tell Roach, Hey, it's been great, but I've got places to go and people to find? You know, you could. I, I mean, you don't really owe him anything. I'm just afraid you'll get caught up in something and you won't be able to back out. Yorvet's a sly old elf. He's been fighting humans for a full century at least. This Letho is no common bandit either, and I shudder to think who put him on the warpath. It's a mire, Geralt. Deep and hungry, and it could swallow you whole before you know it. It possibly already has. I want you to know that I'm prepared to travel to the end of the world with you to save Yennefer. I owe you that. I owe her that. I'm prepared to drop everything. The trappings of court life, politics, the regicides. I could even live at Kaer Morn. It's up to you. Triss. Let me finish. I can only say this once. If you want to go alone, I'll understand. And I won't try to persuade you otherwise. If all goes well, I'll catch the Kingslayer before you finish preparing the spells. And if it doesn't go well? Triss, do you really expect me to spend two days at the tavern drinking with the locals while Letho's out there taking control of a Scoia'tael unit? No. But what will you do? What if Yorveth scoffs at your news? What if he says Letho's escaped and no one knows where to find him? Will we go? Will we leave the Regicide to Roach and continue with our own lives? I really would like to go, but I need to clear my name. Foltest's men and bounty hunters of all kinds would never let it go. We'd be fugitives, and that's not a life I'd want for me or for you. Besides, I'd feel as if I'd given up when there was still something to do. I'd feel like I fled. And as I see it, we haven't lost yet. Whatever your decision, I want you to know you can count on me. I need a few days to prepare the spells. I need to talk to Zoltan about Yorvith. It's not a closed conversation. We'll talk again, but only after I've settled things with the Kingslayer. A witch's blade. Letho, he comes here to think. I don't give a goat's balls what that rogue does for leisure. Can we go, or do you need to ponder some rocks? Elden and Cymeril. A beautiful story that humans turned into a shallow lie. Bled a dwarf. I know, I know. Humans are scoundrels and pricks. You ready? But we, Enshe, remember how it was. The limitless devotion, passion, and sacrifice. Please, stop. Poetry irks me. Legend has it the lover's sighs are enchanted within these very stones, though only those in love can hear them. Singing bushes, jabbering stones, elven hogwash. Duan! Calm, Shay. We're not looking for a fight. Hear that, Hervian. A few words of Elder, and he thinks he can go. This is elven land, Dwan, upon which your kind dies. There's no need to fight. We'll leave your land in peace. Unbelievable! Spits in your face and claims it's raining! Shut up, Zagar. Speak, Dwan. Whose are those corpses? They tried to take the statue. We persuaded them otherwise. Be that as it may. Why did you come here? We wanted to see this place. Nothing more. Nothing worth stealing round here. Now you've seen it, go. Before I have a change of heart. You're setting them free, Hervehan. Go. Fresh air. I'm glad you asked me along. That was edifying. 
Really? What did you learn? You know why Elden and Symerul resisted all and stayed together? Why? Because they're statues. Just statues. Tress. Why two swords? Does he lose them often? You got a troll here? Aye, he trolls in the forest by the river. But he's a good fellow. Don't you dare harm him. One of the helpful ones, I see. Does more good than Lurido, and drinks a lot less at that. Repairs the bridge and causes no mischief. Don't take your blades to him, please. Excellent work. In it? The finest hides and the tannins on half are either. A straggler here, a lobber there, sometimes a hapless calf. I've even got otter fur for you. You hunt? Oh, we must not hunt in the royal forest. Even children know that. Besides, it's too dangerous to go among the trees now. What with all those monsters? They must be finding more food in the area. A war's brewing, methinks. Not necessarily. The Scoia'tael attack merchants and ambush patrols. Ideal conditions for necrophages. We ought to wait for better times and be satisfied with the little things, like the good book teaches us. Witcher! Greetings! What brings you here, White Wolf? Make yourself at home, please! Do we know each other? I've heard, or rather read much about you, in the letters of the Rivian Diaspora. Well, nice to meet you. Einar Gausel, fundamentally a trader in old curios, although I also concern myself with the non-human community. The non-humans in Flotsam are organised? We aren't, but we aid each other as best we can. I mainly collect taxes and announce the Commandant's dispositions. That'd make you a prime target for Yorvith. <laughs> You're correct on that account. He's warned me many times, and I've explained the need for my function to him just as many. Both in vain. It seems we've agreed to disagree. Well, the sword is his calling, the pen is mine. Hence, no meeting of the minds. It wasn't always this hard. Turned sour when several elven lassies disappeared. We lost our trust in the humans, and the Scoia'tael ceased trusting us. Did they turn up, the women? No. I believe Necker's killed them. I remember Moral of the White Hands. She and her lover made a beautiful pair. I want to play dice. All right. Shall we? I'm lost! Hand over the coin. Here, but I'll not play you anymore. So, who is up for a game around here? Sandler's the best. We'll see. The gods have no love for your kind. I'd like to play dice. Shall we play now? Good. Here's your coin. I heard you deal in traps. Indeed. Though that's not all I deal in. I don't want coin. I want something else. 
Suit yourself. Choose. Enough! Don't hit! I'd be good! You're drunk. Vodka good? Head hurt, I. But no pain in brain. Brain pain always comes with a reason. They kill my woman. She good. She cooked meat. Who killed her? Don't know. Me sit on bridge. Go home. No meat smell. Woman dead. Had no head. Guts to drink. In can't go. People that kill. But guts to drink. If I find your woman's murderers, will you put aside the booze? You no find none. We'll see. I've got friends here. I'll talk to them. Where do you get that head? I bought it. Cost me a fortune, but it was worth it. No one else in Lobinden's got a troll's head. Who do you buy it from? Dimitri. Who else would dare trap a troll in its very own den? Where can I find this Dimitri? That I don't know, but you'll find his mates carousing at the inn in the evening. Thanks. That was helpful. Do you work for Dimitri? Who's asking? Because you see, friend, I'm starting to find this a mite confusing. You here at the bidding of that old rag, the Fistech boys, or Laredo. And be straight with me. I heard you hunted down a troll. None of your ploughing business. Heard of the Butcher of Blaviken? Who hasn't? You say you can gut a man with a single cut? Yeah, I can. And if you don't tell me where I can find Dimitri, I'll splash your guts on the walls. Steady. Start talking. Dimitri hangs around the cemetery near that stinking village. See? It can be nice. All you need to do is try. The reader will know that's no squirrel, but an ordinary elf. He won't know shit. Ears pointy, check. We'll dress the corpse in green and collect an even hundred. Heard Melena makes more than that. I guess robbing the soldier is better business than robbing elves. I'll not hear of that whore again, got it? Treacherous rag. She'll get what she deserves. Won't be long now. Couldn't satisfy her, eh? Can't fault the girl for being ambitious. And the stiff on the ground is who? Some spy from Vizima, soon to be our squirrel's grave mate. Laredo told me to get rid of him, and since we've got this vacancy in the boneyard, thought I might do our friend a small favour. He don't look like no spy. They never do once they're dead. Oh, almost forgot. Might pay to search him good and thorough before we plant him in the dirt. You, Dimitri? Why the fuck do you want to know? The troll sends his regards. Kill him! No witnesses! Yeah! Fools! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Give vodka, dwarf. You drink too much. Your eyesight's shit. Why, Buck? I punished your wife's murderers. Mine? You'll find what's left of them at the cemetery. I find. Will you fix the bridge? Trolls true. Make sure your hands are steady when you do it. No drink more. Head. In peace. You owe me two hundred orans. You'll get one hundred. If only I'd known. So long. On your desk, is that a drop box for the Royal Post? Yes, I am the local royal postmaster. One of my many responsibilities. Would you mind if I looked inside? Absolutely no problem. Enjoy your reading. So long.
Zoltan, I need to ask you a favor. Shoot. I heard you know the local Scoia'tael. You heard? Meaning some goats ass and a helmet hollowed it out in the market square. Now, I need some way to get to this Yorvet. You know, I don't want you thinking I'm all chummy with the Scoia'tael. And Yorvet detests me. Why would you want to see him anyway? He knows where the Kingslayer is. Yorvet? And here I always thought I'm a common thug. All right. No reason to sit on our arses. Come on. You can tell me everything on the way. Lead on, Zoltan. Tell me, who said I have contacts with the Scoia'tael? The Rito. What a prick. That's why he wanted to hang you? For making deals with the squirrels? What? I met a few, yes, but made no fucking deals. What about that, leader? They say your vef's mad, but the Scoia'tael are at his beck and call. Sword knows what he wants. Hope you tell me what it is. Tell you what, of two evils, Lorido's the beggar prick. Because he almost hanged you? Because he stirs up the locals against non-humans. And there's what he's colluding with Kedwin. What's his aim? Greed! King Hensel will gladly annex more land and grant Lorido privileges. Come on, we've got a long way to go. Yet another witcher. We need to go deeper into the forest. I hope they didn't change the password. You know their password? What are you playing at, Sultan? All right. The Scoia'tael asked me to command a unit. No wonder. <laughs> they may have asked, but I didn't accept them. This is it. I was due to meet them here. I know. They're aiming arrows at us. What? Geralt, I know full well you're always vigilant, but quit poking fun at me. Give them the password. What them? Hurry up, they're edgy. Here, Kegald! Stop bawling. What do you want? Countersign. Heidegger. I asked you a question. Take us to Jorvef. Why? If we wanted to speak with you, we wouldn't ask for your leader. Yorveth won't talk with you. You don't know that. Leave while you're still able. The two of you won't scare us off. There are four more in that tree. How do you know? I can hear them breathing. One's sick. We're on fist tech. How? He's wheezing. What? You elven cocks gone soft? We just want to talk to Yorveth. Wait at the clearing. The dwarf knows where. We'll let Yorveth know. Make sure you do. Come on, Geralt. I hate what those elven pricks have planned. Been there once. We're here. That creature prowls down there. Right where we're supposed to meet Yorveth. Exactly. Any ideas? I last fought an Ericus some time ago. I never had the swiving pleasure. Not that I mind. Wait here. What are you... Think me a limp prick? is the place the elves mentioned. That thing approaching us is no elf. I'll leave it to you, Geralt. Monster.
Blacksmiths are not my speciality. A lovely show, Gwynblade. But tell me, was it worth it? An uneven fight and certain death await you anyway. I could ask you the same thing. What do you want, that gun? Speak quickly before I kill you both. Letho betrayed you. He wanted to make a deal with your comrade, Kirin. Kirin Ep Esnilin is dead. Two weeks ago, his warriors were ambushed and killed. You should invent better lies, Gwynblade. He's on the barge, wounded but alive. He turned Letho down, and his unit paid the ultimate price. If you speak the truth, Letho will die. But words alone are not enough. You still trust this assassin? You may be lying. If I'm lying, so did Kieran. We'll investigate it for his sake. We shall see how Letho reacts to your sensational news. Where is he? The ruins of Kelmawed. For some reason, he likes the place. My unit will cover us. Ready? Why did you want Foltest dead? He might have appeared charming. But in reality, he allowed the Elder Races in Temeria to be oppressed. He was like old Dwan. But his death has more significance. What's your angle, Yorvith? You wouldn't understand. Hiding in woods, killing berry pickers, eating roots. We live by our own rules, doing what's necessary to attain our goal. What is your goal? What's it to you, Geralt? Eseth Vatkan? You tell me to stuff it up my ass. Not everything deserves that fate. My life now depends on your whim, so I'm curious. Then listen well. The two dead kings were whoresons who damned their own children to stay in power. But in the East, there's someone truly deserving of a crown. We need to go. We need a ruse. Tell Letho you've captured me and want to hand me over to him. And you? I'll be unarmed, hands bound. If you're not lying, his reaction will confirm it. I don't trust you, of course. My warriors will cover us if you try anything stupid. I get it. I don't think so. Do anything stupid and they'll tie you down on an anthill, face coated with honey. You'll scream so loud even the storm riders will hear you. Are you always so grandiose? We could just tell Letho to own up. 
I'd fail men here yet then, Werder. Conquer with courage rather than strength. Exactly. Let's go. If he's betrayed me, let was a dead man. Geralt of Rivia, what's the meaning of this? I'm here to negotiate. Ah, Yorveth, the woodland fox caught at last. I underestimated you. I wondered what a human was doing among the Scoia'tael. My enemy's enemy is my friend. Know the same? The Scoia'tael are my brothers in vengeance. Joke's over! Unbind me! Kieran Ep Esnelin told me you want to eliminate Yorvith. Even if I do, why would you help me? Bledded one! Demavend? Full test? Who else? Who the hell are you? We've met Gerald. Do you remember? No. I'll never forget it. You saved my life. White Wolf. We fought side by side. Now we'll cross blades. This wouldn't be necessary if I'd killed Yorveth first. Surret and orcs will drown in their own blood. Oh, I don't think so. My men will finish their task long before the Scoia'tael in the Ponter Valley realize you're dead. Serret and Ox, who are they? Kingslayers the Scoia'tael are assisting in the Pontar Valley, in Upper Edern. You killed Foltest. You'll answer for that. You're the only one who saw it happen. You'll do the answering. I don't see any other way to do this. Draw your sword. Enough of this farce! Fedrai Enlay! What game are you playing? One that you just lost. Give me my sword. Get the Kingslayer! I have to kill you. Such a pity we're on opposite sides. I see you still know how to fight. Why do you hound me? They think I killed Voltex. It's your own fault for playing soldier boy. and a few elves are enough to kill a king? You've no idea how many people were eager to help us. You really think they will all keep quiet? Your vest time is running out. 
The others will be judged and condemned for sowing chaos. So, why? You were one of us, Geralt. You saved us. Now we're even. Your witch is good with magic. Think she'll be able to teleport me to Edirne. If she behaves, I won't harm her. I'll find you. See you in Edirne, then. What happened? Where is he? Where's the Kingslayer? Fled. Yorveth? Captured. My men have taken him to Flotsam. The Kingslayer may attempt to spring him from prison. I doubt it. He needs Triss. Really? Why? I've set the elves against him so he can't move through the forests. I have to find Triss first. Follow me then. That was a damn good fight. We've got your Veth. That changes everything. That was a damn good fight. Truly triumphant entry. Long live Witcher Geralt! Long live Vernon Roach! Here's to you, noble lords! Long live Tamaria! It seems we've given the Commandant occasion to throw a feast. Open barrels of the best wine! I want to see whole hogs on spits! I hereby declare a holiday! Celebrate, my lords. Today's my treat. No innkeeper or wench will take a penny from you. Here's to our heroes. Have a drink, Witcher. Here's to you, Witcher. See you, Vernon. Right. And don't worry about our prisoner. We'll take good care of him. I have my treads. Maybe Dandelion will have something. <laughs> Then Geralt whipped out a silver chain and throttled the beast. Her eyes popped and she spasmed terribly as she drew her last breath. That's not even the best story about it. I could tell you many a tale, but I'm a tad parched. And here he is. Honorable ladies, noble lords, allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia. I was so worried about you. Dandelion, we need to talk. Geralt, you're Flotsam's hero. Have a drink. Lorito's buying. I guess I deserve a shot. Cheers. Here's to the beautiful ladies. I need to find Triss. Triss? Oh, yeah, Triss. Totally forgot. She went to meet Sheila at her rented quarters to see this thing of me megascope or something. Anyway, here's to the beautiful ladies. The ladies will have to wait. I need you. Come on. I was lucky enough to get the key to Sheila's nest. Incidentally, for a big woman, the innkeeper's wife is surprisingly nimble. Come on. Bad 
feeling about this. Not good. Don't just stand there. We need to look for clues. Sheila's bodyguard. His neck's broken. No wounds. So that's not his blood. Triss enters, breaks the guard's neck, then wounds herself? That's stupid. Dandelion, look. What is it? A peephole. Someone might have been spying. The brothel's behind that wall. Maybe the madam saw what happened. Let's go. A lot of blood. Too much. Welcome, Dandelion. You're in luck, freebies today, but you still have to pay for a tag team. Darai, this is Witcher Geralt. We just want to talk. Tell us who used this room most recently. Margot and me. Margot? The madam. What is it you want? Triss Marigold. Red-headed sorceress. She was in the next room. Do you know what happened to her? We, we weren't spying. I know nothing. There's no need to be scared. Just tell us what you saw. I know you looked through the peephole. Margot was nervous about the holiday. She told the girls to give freebies today. Then she took me to my room and we made love. Just as I was... I was, well... Well, we heard voices and Margot started spying. It was the sorceress and Cedric. Are you sure? Yes. We started fighting for the people. But finally Margot let me take a peek. Just said she was going to see who the Ice Queen had spoken to recently. She approached the mirror and whispered something. There was a flash and a terrible looking man popped out of the mirror. What did he look like? Like a worm. A hungry old worm. Huh. I wonder... Triss was aghast. And the worm said, Why so pale, Marigold? Have you seen a ghost? Then he smiled maliciously and... Why so pale, Marigold? Seen a ghost. What is it now? Greetings, Death Mole. I wondered who Sheila had been talking to recently. Spying on each other, eh? That's new. What's your business? What's Henselt up to? Are you out of your mind, Marigold? Be glad I'm even talking to you. I need to know what's going on. Help me, Death Mold, and I'll return the favor. You know nothing useful to me, and I don't want your graces. You don't tickle my fancy. You've heard that Philippa has left Redania? Yes. Yeah. Do you know where she is? I do. But first you'll answer my question. Fine. A single question in exchange for information on Philippa. Do you know anything about the regicides? No lying. Ah, oh, a mistake, Marigold. I really know nothing. All I can tell you is that it's not of Hensel's doing. I'll let you know if I discover anything. Your turn. Philippa's in Vergen, a small town near the Kedweni Adernian border. I know its location very well. The remnants of Eren's army have assembled there, led by a lass said to have killed a dragon. Who's the girl? She commands a rabble of peasants, poor noblemen, and non humans. Even Prince Stennis Demaven's son can't disregard her. But that's of no consequence. Henselt will trample those vermin and chase them off with whips. What's Philippa doing there? Telling you won't pay off, Deathmold. You know too little. Farewell. 
that's all. I didn't hear or see anything else. What happened to Triss and Cedric? I've no idea. Margot pushed me away to get a peek herself, but I heard a smash, shouting and a fight. Margot covered the people with a picture she was pale and told me to keep my mouth shut. We sat for a while and left only when all was quiet. Margot went to her room and I haven't seen her since. But I noticed Cedric staggering away down the alley that leads towards the forest. Dandelion, wait here. I'm going to find Cedric. What about Marga? Right. We should look for her first. Head Mill, Gwynblade. I no longer feel the pain. Always wanted to die among trees. Cedric, what happened? Triss asked me for help. I killed the Dwan guarding the door, and we broke in. Again, I killed a Dwan. I know. Where's Triss? A witcher came in, attacked us. I tried to protect Triss. He was fast. Too fast for me. He hit Triss before she could cast a spell. He knew how to fight a sorceress. Then he ordered her to activate the Megascope. He needed to get to Edern, near the dwarven town of Vergen. Triss said it was madness, but she didn't have the coordinates. He gave her a strange look, threatening. Better give it your best. You're going first, with me right behind you. Then I passed out. When I woke, they were gone. I knew I was dying. The forest called me. Why, Cedric? Why did you get involved? Why did you? Sometimes we must. Have I told you about my visions? That's why I drink. It helps. I'm safe in a mist of vodka. See nothing, feel nothing. Cedric, calm down. But now I see clearly. You need to regain your memory. Only then will you understand who's killing crowned Dwan. And why. How can I get it back? In Edder. In a place tainted with dark magic. Where ghosts of the fallen will fight a great battle. Save their souls and your memory will return. Happening with the forest. I feel a presence. They come to bid you farewell. My forest. Lafayette. With the blade. Farewell.